G'day everyone, Matt Elder of MattElder.com here and in this video we're going to do a full walkthrough tour of LEGO's House of Dots. The House of Dots was LEGO's central marketing piece in launching worldwide their new LEGO Dots product range. Click above for a review of the LEGO Dots bracelets or click above now for the LEGO Dots pineapple review. The House of Dots was at Coal Drops Yard in London's King's Cross from 30th of January 2020 to 2nd of February 2020, so only a brief appearance. I actually worked on the interior of the House of Dots. There are about 10 of us working for the better part of two weeks applying the 2 million dots to the house. Click above for a behind the scenes video of putting all this together from the tiling to a brief 3D model of the actual shipping container arrangements. Please visit MattElder.com and subscribe so you can always be kept in the loop with new videos and exclusive content regardless of any YouTube algorithm changes. The first of the five rooms is the lounge room. You get overstimulated with big, bright, bold colour and design scheme. Putting the mirrors together was actually quite challenging as they are a couple of millimetres short in the way they had been cut. This chair had a design designated as either the tulip or moustache pattern. We were terrified to even think of sitting on it, so funny to see others doing it without thinking. Not that I think it would be super comfortable. Next up is the kitchen for the branded bracelet making experience. The walls and worktop were completely tiled. The table pattern was one of the more challenging ones, even though it fractiles, it does it in a very specific way. You really had to pay attention to ensure you got the pattern spot on. A quick trip upstairs and into what is the kids bedroom. Another explosion of design meets your eye. Another cool hands on branding experience dotting the 8x8 Lego plates. The new cute animal photo holders adorn the shelf. A 3 pack of these will be £12.99 or US dollars And from here we head into the bathroom with pink bubble bath. Naturally the kids loved this. And for any parents out there, this would be the ideal time to run. Did you notice the Lego water spilling everywhere onto the tiles? Another cool dotting idea. Obviously designed to keep little kids in the bathtub where they can't escape. The dreaded hair wash. And what house would be complete without a disco room? Unfortunately no Lego mirrored tiles at this point. Hopefully a consideration for the future though. Just enough time for a quick boogie. Great that the room was included but not very Lego-y. Is that even a word? and for the piece de la resistance, a slide to exit. I mean seriously, what house is not complete without one of these? Even the big kids were queuing up. Unfortunately no, again, again, again on the slide. Okay, that was the inside. Now for a quick walk around the outside. The House of Dots was only open to the public for several days and the tickets that were available went in minutes. So know there are people who are disappointed they didn't get a look through. Hopefully this video can give a bit of an overview. Apparently, the House of Dots might be going on to Copenhagen and maybe other locations after that, subject to logistics. We always joked it shouldn't be too hard given that it's made out of 8 shipping containers. Whether or not the exterior makes it could be a different story. London can be pretty harsh when it comes to rain and think they had a few minor issues with water penetration. Hopefully if LEGO do have this set up again elsewhere, it can be for a bit longer. Going through it did feel a bit rushed. You didn't really get a chance to have a good look, check out all the designs and the various elements in the house. The branded experience was great in being able to do some dotting with a new product, but again it seemed a little rushed. I was fortunate enough to get a walkthrough on launch press day and just felt like you are able to absorb it all a little bit better and wasn't as crowded. That is nitpicking however as overall I thought it was a great experience and if it does pop up in your neck of the woods check it out. Also let us know and be curious to see where it ends up and other people's experiences. Big thanks to Signa, Libor, Peter, Camille, Gemma, Chiara and everyone else at LEGO we got to work with. It was a real blast. And there you have a 360 of the exterior. The graphic nature of the design really does pop out and you wouldn't pick it from the front that it's 8 shipping containers. The amount of work that would have gone into this would have been phenomenal. For our part of just dotting, we did 800 hours and used some 2 million tiles. That doesn't include the fabricators and retrofitting the shipping containers. I did a quick sketch from the outside and click above for that video. In doing a sketch, I did notice the main graphic on all the marketing is slightly different from the final design of the house. So this is the final marketing design and then this is the design of the house. You notice that here it's got stripes whereas here it's a bit more circular. Then you have this square here which has been moved over slightly. 
this has been changed and then the windows are now square as opposed to the circular sort of arches that they had initially well i'm guessing that over time this was an initial design which went and then had to go off to get printed and everything but then as they were building it they were then modifying and changing the designs i'd probably think the final design of the actual house looks better because at least you have the stripes continuing up whereas here it would have gotten a bit more broken up Another easter egg was picked up on reddit recently, a Dots bracelet was actually featured in the Lego Movie 2 that would have had principal photography done well over two years ago, so it's been staring us in the face the whole time. You can sort of see there you've got the rainbow design and it's obviously with the different colours and shapes. If you enjoyed this video smash that like button or be awesome and subscribe. Thanks very much for watching the video, here are some other videos you might be interested in. Until next time when we talk about all things Lego.